Hey guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to talk to you about screaming duration. Uh, so I guess this would be part, I'm pretty sure it's part five of my screaming series. So some people asked me some questions about screaming duration, whereas like they couldn't hold a scream out long enough for a song. And this issue is different depending on which kind of scream you're doing. If you're doing the high scream the same way that I do the high scream, which I am as sure as I could possibly be is how all the bands that I listen to do it, or like Textures, Periphery, other bands, um, Protest the Hero, like that high scream that pretty much everyone uses. Um, that one, if you're doing it correctly, you shouldn't have a problem holding it out. It doesn't use much air. If it's taking a lot of air, you probably need to refine your technique. I would recommend um, recording yourself and because then you'll find out how much breath you actually need. When you're singing with loud music in your car or something, it's very easy to think that you need more uh, breath support, more air to get the sound you want, but you really don't because anytime you're gonna be using screams, you're gonna be using a microphone either to record or to play live. So that scream I could hold out for a long time. I'll do a little example right now. Yeah! So yeah, that scream you can hold out for a pretty long time. That That's like not as long as I can hold it out, but you can, um, you know, you need to get, breathe a little bit beforehand, get yourself ready for it, use your diaphragm to inhale, and if you're doing a really long one, even use the upper chest to get that last little one third of air. But with the low screams, in contrast to the other ones, these take a ton of air, at least at first. Um, for me, these I still can't hold out that long. I can do enough to get through some songs, but as far as like, if I was trying to do Between the Barrier to Me songs, that guy is a beast at holding out his long screams. Those ones, they take a lot more air, and um, I don't know if you saw my other video, if you didn't, I'll briefly go over it. But what happens when you're doing different kinds of screams is that what you're doing is the, the vocal cords are still being used, and the false cords are above getting some kind of squeezing motion going on to get the scream sound, but the vocal cords are still involved in a way. With the low screams, the vocal cords aren't being used, they're just open, and the false cords are pinching, and the air is going through right to the false cords, and the false cords are making all of the sound. So it takes a lot more air, and there's not as much air being held in because your vocal cords aren't being used. So when you have like, yeah, like the note, if you kind of waver in and out, and every kind of scream you do with this, there's always some kind of note in there. Like if I just do a scream, like this is all screaming, but I can kind of make notes and just try to listen to the subtleties here. Yeah! yeah! You can kind of hear notes in there, not really, but a little bit. And Textures uses this, or their old singer did, to actually, um, I'm sure in the studio they did it differently, but in their songs, a lot of parts like that. Now with the low scream, the you it, uh, there's no note in there at all. It's just all false chord. And so it takes a lot more air to get anything going. And those is what the real practice comes in getting tight. And what I would recommend to extend this is first, um, make sure you're using proper breath support. Aside from just doing that, I would recommend doing what, what makes sense, right? So if you need to hold out your screams longer or you're singing longer or get faster guitar, do whatever, what makes sense? you practice and get better at it. Try to hold out longer screams, right? So what you do is just get a scream and try to hold it out. So just get like a you That's about as long as I can do with that. But you get a timer, just get a clock, right? And do the scream. Obviously that you have to know how to do the scream first. And hold out the scream, time yourself and do it a few times, see how long you can get it. And just write down your progress day to day. And the goal is to just get better, um, obviously. Uh, so remember, first you want to get down the scream. Two, you may want to make sure you have proper breath support. Or actually, probably want to reverse those. Get proper breath support and then make sure you have the scream tight. And then once you have those, you can start trying to get your scream longer in duration. Because then you can just practice it and record your times without having to worry about if you're actually doing it right. And the same thing goes for the high scream. You can get it longer, it just takes practice. So just hold it out, time yourself, and keep track day-to-day -day basis, right? Um, the other thing I would recommend, uh, I just kind of discovered this practicing in my car, because that's where I do probably like 80 plus percent of my singing. 
And what I would do is get a low screen, but instead of just holding it out at like at like a, a decent interval, like not one second, but a little faster, um, just get like yo 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 yo, and try to see how many times you can do that. You want to pick a solid interval. Just that interval works good for me. So. And then you're just going to count how many times you can do it and track your progress on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yo, 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 yo. In the end one, I wouldn't count. You want to make sure that good screams. You don't want to count crap. Because you don't want to make crap. <laughs> so yeah, same thing goes for the high scream. Same thing goes for the yell scream. Same thing goes for singing. If you want to get anything longer, make sure you have the technique down. And then just try to hold it up longer. Track your progress. And I promise you, you will get better. Um, so just stick with it, give it a week or so, and I guarantee you'll see better results. So that's pretty much it for this lesson. Um, if you have any questions about holding screams out, making them sound better, or anything related to screaming, just leave me a comment or send me a message. If you like this video, leave a like or subscribe, and I'll talk to you all you guys later. Thanks for watching.